kids are sick including Jewel. i was sick first now i'm perfectly fine but i feel like i got it from one of them they just ain't get really sick sick they had a little cough but they wasn't coughing coughing i was coughing no stuffy coughing up the little green stuff yuck i know but now all my kids are sick at the same time so i'm gonna make some onion and honey garlic turmeric type of concoction and we're gonna taste it and see what it do but first i gotta check my wig card and see if i got some um some fruits and vegetables yeah mm-hmm and i'm gonna put tomatoes and potatoes in everybody's socks yeah don't get out of bed chill in the bed eat the popsicles just chill that's what we finna do what else my tripod broke my big one, so I have to use this little one. Because I ain't got no money. YouTube, what's going on? Where's the money? I need a new tripod. I need a new ring light. <laughs> you to comment down below and tell me what medicines y'all use for y'all babies. How y'all help y'all babies from being sick. What vitamin drops y'all take. All that. Because my kids really ain't been sick this year. Just really early. And probably like... Guy would probably had a cough and stuff. But since he got asthma, he always sick. But I need to know what y'all be using for y'all babies. Cause I don't like when my kids are sick. I don't like it. Haven't done any kitchen content lately. That's the state of the kitchen. Yeah. That's the state of the kitchen, honey. Hold on. Now why would you just spin like that? Hold on. I need to get my life together, y'all, because. All my kids sick at one time. And I washed and blow dried my hair yesterday. I took them braids out because I just took them out. I didn't like them. So this time I'm going to be walking around. Mm-hmm. Just like this. Yup. And what about it? And what about it? And what about it? And what about it? I understand that you don't know the camera like any other way. What is there? I guess it's nothing. What was I gonna say? I got the lights out on deck. Two kept two heavy cans. Heavy. What else? I got the antibacterial soap, bar soap, all that. I think I'm gonna make some chicken and rice. Cause yeah, cause. I was reading something, hold on, I'm just my bad. But I need to make sure you can rest with everybody's sick so I can check that out. Yeah. It's about that time, honey. Where's all the bowls? What's going on? Where are all my bowls? And how am I supposed to cook? I do need some press-on stuff. So anybody want to send me some press-ons for, um, you know, PR packages and stuff, send them to me, honey. Send them to me. Email me, because I, I would love to do some more um, 
videos, you know, promoting people's stuff. I ain't gonna lie though. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I gotta find out what I did with all my bows. Oh, my son put stuff up. He put stuff at the bottom. So we're gonna throw this out. Pretty sick. Nothing is staying on the wall. My gnome Santa Claus is gone. Whatever we put right here is gone. This all we got left. That's all we got left. I literally might have to get some thumbtacks, like y'all said. There you go. There you go, right there. There you go. Hold on. Bringing me a new dishwasher. I saw a mouse the other day. And I called and told them, and then they came and put some little foam right there. And they said it got poison in it. So if he even try to bite through it, it'll die. Hopefully, it don't die if he stuck right behind her. Because that probably would stink. But yeah. Yeah, y'all see my traps? I do not be playing. If I see another one, I'm, I'm gonna keep calling her. Yes. They're supposed to be bringing me a new dishwasher today. They said I can get a new stove, but I have to get on the list for it because I'm not in the dire need of a new stove. And I'm like, that's fine with me because they give me time to find one if y'all really don't want to give me one. They're supposed to be bringing a new handle for this. And yeah, I'm just excited. I guess, I guess I'm gonna listen to y'all and take y'all advice and start fixing my credit. So today I'm gonna sit down and write out all my debt validation letters even though i know how to clear my credit because i had got some phones from verizon before and this was my broke days i got a phone from verizon had one kept one on my plan got another one sold the other one because i needed some money i needed some money and i waited until they sold the debt off to whoever they needed to send it to and i waited for them to try and sue me and I asked them to send me a debt validation letter. They couldn't do it. They couldn't find my contract with my signature. You want to know why? You want to know why? <laughs> because my debt is not with a debt collector. It was with Verizon. Yeah, it was with Verizon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And my iPhone 14, 15... This year is with Verizon. So I know what I'm doing. I beat the case. I got that 2000 off my credit. And yeah, my credit is really like, it's poor. It's like close to like a 560 something. But I don't really know too much about credit. And yeah, I'm finna be grown. I'm finna try to fix my credit because eventually, no rush whatsoever. I mean, no rush whatsoever for a house. So eventually, I'm gonna need credit. And plus, every time I go get some, go somewhere, somewhere, every time I go someplace to get something, they be like, you need to put two thousand dollars down, which is cool because I'm used to putting thirty five hundred down. Every car, everything I looked at is always thirty five hundred. Your credit is bad. Thirty five hundred, thirty five hundred. Every vehicle I've ever had, thirty five hundred down. And I'm sick of that. I'm sick of that. But recently I went to this car lot. He said, I only need $1,500. I said, hey, I only need that down. He said, what kind of car would you looking at? I said, I need a nice big ass truck. Touch screen, sunroof, third row, fully loaded. You know, he the seats, he the steering wheel, all, the whole nine. The whole nine. And he said, okay, $1,500 down. As long as the car is like $12,000, uh, 12, $10,000, he said $1,500 down. They ran my credit three times, three different banks, and only one of them decided to mess with me. Yeah, let me not do that. Why am I telling y'all my business? Y'all gonna see the truck when I get it. I don't know if it's gonna be before the body or after the body. Yeah, and then I'm still keeping my old car. Once I get this new truck, I'm still gonna keep my old one. Cause you got you can't be too you can't be too safe. You always gotta have two vehicles. Always gotta have two. I've always had two, and then I will end up selling one. But I messed up last time when I had that flex and I sold my my Focus or my Ford Explorer. I had a Focus. My Focus my Focus was like my second car. I don't have about five cars, honey. Not me telling my business. But yeah. 
I'm finna get my legs together. I'm finna sit down, eat my little hash browns. Ooh, honey, I forgot about the hash browns. Okay, they're not done. And then, yeah, I'm going to take y'all along my credit journey. Since y'all were trying to eat me up in my comments, I'm going to say, you're going to need credit. You're going to need this when you need a house. You can't do nothing without credit. Okay, I guess I'll get it. Calm down, calm down. I love me some breathing and share. Y'all hip to them? But, yeah. Mm, that's what I'm going to do at my handy dandy desk. I'm going to sit over here and write down my stuff. Actually, I'm going to go to myannualcreditreport.com. Pull my credit report, see what's new on it, and then start getting stuff together. And for those of you who don't know how to fix your credit, I'm going to tell you this now. Don't do anything online. Mm -mm. Don't do anything online. Because that's just giving them an easier way to validate any debt. Don't do that shit online. Don't do it. Don't do it. I done fixed my credit multiple times. I fix it. Get the credit cards, get the free money, get the loans, get the free cars, because you ain't gonna put nothing down when you have decent credit. And then I fuck it up. But it's okay. I can keep starting over as many times as I want to, as long as eventually I get it right, right? I'm gonna get it right eventually. And now it was eventually because I have hope and it's bigger and better that's gonna happen for me and my children. So I gotta get myself together. And who is the that told me to put some stuff in my kids' name? Do I look like my mama to you? Why would I put something in my children's name? Is it for them or me? My mama had phone bills, Wi-Fi bills, DTE bills, Comcast bills in her kid's name. You don't do that. That's ghetto. What kind of mama do I look like? Don't put phones, car notes, uh, credit cards. House payments, DTE bills, Wi-Fi bills, AT&T bills. Don't put that shit in your kids' names. Somebody needs to send me some cereal containers because this is how I have to store my cereal. I need cereal containers. I need like four or five of them, please. 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 Send me some honeycomb. Yum. 